Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to make a video showing you how to change the, the blade spindles on your uh, Troy built pony. Um, so, I'm not going to show you how to take the deck off. There's videos that shows you how to do that. Essentially, you just go around taking all these kind of pins out and uh, start with your deck lever down, take all those pins out, and then uh, kind of like reattach some of the back hardware and then lift the lever up that'll pull the hardware out of the way and then you just drag it out once you get it out you can work on it I I think that'd be the easiest way if you try hoisting it up you're gonna just be fighting you could probably do it that way but anyway so these are the spindles I'm talking about whoever had this lawnmower before me just grabbed weird blades and threw them on there which is not the way to do it and uh, they're all rusty this one's probably okay but this one had grounded off all the little star things so you can't put a if you order the correct blades from it it's not it's gonna probably spin on you and uh, this is the blade because of this was spinning loose and I couldn't that's why I discovered all this and if you look down there I don't know what's going on it's like the bearing fused to the cap or something and uh, anyway so I decided uh, just to change the whole thing out on this end I think that these, these are supposed to be standard, I believe, but I just grabbed a, like a 13 millimeter socket and it fit it. Um, and so they got these bolts that hold the spindle on this side. Let's see here. This, uh, I believe that was 5 8 with an 18 pinch thread. I can't remember what the socket size was to get that off. It was a standard, not metric. So, here's what the new ones look like. They're very nicer and they got uh, grease fittings on it, which I thought was pretty cool. And I didn't know if this is supposed to spin or not. Apparently, it does. So, it doesn't make sense because I got the pulley. Can't do this with two hands, but you get the gist of it. There you go. See, this whole thing spins with this wheel. So it seems pretty nice and the price wasn't too bad I just got the set because it was uh, pretty you got a better deal if you got the set I'll find a link to these in or order them I didn't know that they had the grease fittings on that's something I found out later on uh, they don't come with new nuts I just went out and got these I think they were 5 8 by 18 pitch and um, they do give you new mounting hardware which is nice uh, it would have been nice if they gave you a new bolt there so, shoot, I forgot my gloves. Hopefully I don't cut myself on this. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I've not done this before. I'm going to take these bolts off, take this shroud, and I'm just going to do one side at a time. So if I mess something up, I can, uh, oh, this is kind of interesting. This one, well, that's... I think it's loose. Um, nice thing about this, let's see. I don't have to mess with that because I got new. Those are pretty nice bolts, so I wonder if they'll fit on the other side. Those are very nicer than the ones I bought. Um, so I'll just do one side. It's not rocket science. Let's see. Try to find a socket here. I'll just guess. This is what size is this here? Can't this is a fifteen. So it's probably a thirteen. Yeah. That's it's an American it's a SAE socket, but I grabbed the wrong socket set. I work usually mostly work on metric stuff. So all I'm gonna do is take these off take that off. It does have a brake lever but it looks like it stays on. I'll show you when I get that off. Essentially I'm going to take those looks like there's three bolts off, flip it over, take the four off on the other side and this should all come off. I'll show you as I go along. Alright I think people like to watch me do this so I don't have a cameraman so it's kind of hard for me to film myself.
It looks like that's all I got to do on the top. Oh, by the way, uh, don't do it this way. This way is wrong. This is just how I do it. All right. I'll have to do is uh, break those loose first. I'm gonna have to get a bigger setup. That is like in there really tight. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, had to bring out the the big guy. I actually cracked a cheap socket on one of them. The heads broke off on two, and I broke loose those. Uh, hopefully that thing will drop off. I don't have to worry. About. I'm glad they gave me new bolts for those. Here's the broken ones. Well, I looked out, and uh, hopefully, this is all showing up on camera. Uh, so, those are stuck in there. It's a good thing I didn't uh, just buy bearings for this. A lot of people try to do it that way. So. I guess what my next plan is, I'll just put the new one on that one. Uh, let me kind of get situated here. Okay, all I did was uh, pass the two bolts by hand on that side just to hold the new one on there. And I'm going to swing the whole operation over to my truck there so you can see a little bit better. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, and I'll try and try to figure out how to get the. Just will try put this so you can see me work there. they came up on camera. only decision I made was to try to put the grease fitting facing the edge so if you're working on the mower maybe you can get in there. It's a pretty tight fit because it sits kind of low but uh, I'm just going to hand tighten those. So I put those on, looks like I skipped one, but I did one off camera. So I torqued those on to about 70 foot pounds, probably maybe 60, somewhere around there. I'm just going based on how hard I put a lug nut on a car and I do those I think at 80. So. Uh, let me flip it over and see what the see what the other side looks like. Okay, you'll want to watch a video on how, other than mine on how to put this belt on. Uh, I'm just kind of I can't remember how it came off. I'll have to look at the video. Um, but I just put it on as a brake shoe. Put it on here. This guy 
Um, it's just got three holes in it, and I kind of can tell where how it was lined up because uh, you can see where it was attached because it was so dirty on the deck. So I'm just gonna put it there. I gotta find where I did with the screws, and then uh, attach that back on. All right, don't uh, put your screws in the grass. You'll spend 15 minutes looking for them. Anyway, so all I did is I, I put my drill on reverse. I hit them until I feel it click backwards one time so I'm not cross threading. Then I go forward. And I'll just finish these off here. And then I'll finish them off by hand. Uh, just make sure they're nice and snug. Let's see. Kind of mixing up between standard and metric. That was 13 millimeter. I don't know what that is, and uh, I think that's half inch or something. But, uh, anyways, that's how you do it. Um, just gonna do the same thing on the other side. If uh, for some reason the other side is different, I'll uh, I'll film that. But I'm gonna just finish this up because that's pretty quickly how you swap out the spindle. Um, and I think you'll get a way better performance. I'll leave a link to uh, the spindles that I used. Um, an Amazon link. They put some kind of weird dollar sign. If this video helps you out, maybe consider clicking on the dollar sign on my video, wherever that's at. Um, or click on the link for the Amazon stuff if you order. I get a little cut of that. That helps out. Anyways, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like it, let me know in the... Well, I don't do that. Uh, if you don't like it, if you have a question or you want to see me do something else, uh, like how to take the deck off or something like that, maybe leave that. It's kind of a hard job to show videoing while pulling those carter pins out. Anyways, uh, uh, thank you for watching. You have a great day. I got the other side done. The only thing was, uh, you'll see, there's a spring, and those bolts that they gave you are longer than the original ones. And uh, they hit the spring a little bit. I don't know if it's a, that big of a deal or not. So I guess you could uh, buy a little bit shorter bolts if you wanted to or cut them off. But I'm just going to leave them in there. It should be okay. Uh, Would have been nice if they weren't quite that long though. But other than that it went together. That side went together just like this one. Uh, now I just got to wait for the blades to come in and then I'll put those on.